Hi there, my name's Rob Flanagan and I'm an anthropologist in the Department of Social Science, Health and Medicine at King's College London. I am particularly interested in personal genomes and genomic testing, which is probably why you're watching this video. You may have been linked to it through either my blog, discussing my research, or through 23andMe, where I've been trying to get in touch with people to take part. So hopefully you watch this video, get to learn a little bit more about me and get involved in my research. I'm currently conducting my PhD research into different types of genomic testing. I've already mentioned 23andMe, which are an online DNA testing service where you send off a sample of your spit and they give you your DNA results back. But during the course of my PhD fieldwork, I'll also be looking at wider ranging public genomic testing services, such as the PGP, the Personal Genome Project, or Genome Austria in Vienna. And I'll also be looking at doing it yourself, uh, DIY, biohacking attempts to sequence your own genome and how far you can actually get in a community lab trying it on your own. The 23andMe portion of my research has involved me having my DNA sequenced with the company and analysing my results and also getting engaged in the community on the website. As an anthropologist I believe that researchers should get heavily involved in the things that they're researching, not just sit back and watch other people take part. So one of the first things I did after much agonising about it, it was actually to have my DNA sequenced by 23andMe and I've put another video up that you can see in the description below about going through my 23andMe findings. It's actually a little bit scary but I'll talk about that more in the other video. The purpose of this video is mainly just to let you guys know a little bit more about my research, about me as a person and hopefully get you involved. My background, as I've already mentioned, is anthropology. I've done lots of interesting research in the past on the Mount Hagen area of Papua New Guinea through to religion, internet piracy and cultures that surround the video game Minecraft. Genetics is something that's personally interested me a great deal due to hereditary family illnesses and also just a general interest in the science. So I decided to focus on this as the topic of my PhD, which is why I'm researching at the moment on 23andMe. I'll be looking at the reasons why people decide to partake in genomic testing. I'll also be looking at how they go about the actual testing procedure, even though 23andMe give you some very good instructions, which I'll go through in my other video about the test. There are different ways of interpreting these. People see the donation of spit and the actual taking part in the whole process very differently. I'll also be looking at the way that people treat their results. Uh, if they have any concerns beforehand, if they have any concerns afterwards. The way that they share these with their family, their friends, if they share them at all. And if they engage in communities like the 23andMe forums, where people discuss at length their genome. All of these things will hopefully give me a better idea of how 23andMe users understand their genome as a creation of 23andMe. This kind of knowledge will be invaluable in the years to come as personal genome testing becomes even more widespread and more people take part in this. Hopefully we'll understand how companies like 23andMe create an idea of the personal genome and how specific communities like those of the 23andMe forums can actually help shape the way in which future generations understand their genome. I'll be putting one video up every couple of weeks just to let you know how the project's going, to share some interesting information and any fascinating research findings that come up. If you'd like to get involved in my research in any way, there's a link below to my personal research blog where you can either comment or it's got my contact details on there if you want to send a private message. Alternatively, if you are on 23andMe, have a look on the forums on there. There'll be a post, a topic that you can engage with and there'll be a big group discussion, hopefully anyway, about how people envisage their genomes. If you want to keep it all private, then you can contact me. Alternatively, have a read through of the blog. There's plenty of information on there for participants if you're thinking of getting involved. And if you do want to get involved, there's also the consent information on there, which is very important. It details how I'll treat any data, any information that comes from my research. Of course, all information shared in private will be anonymised, so you don't need to worry about that. If you do get in touch and you change your mind at a later date, you can let me know and I'll delete any data that you want from the study. So it's completely up to you how much you get involved. So if you have had your genome tested with 23andMe, please get in touch and hopefully the information that you share will help shed light on how we come to understand our genomes. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch. Like I said, links are in the description down below and have a great day.